Why is she here? I couldn't leave her. I tried to leave her, but I couldn't. You can't bring her. You agreed. Well, she don't take on much room. All that stuff does, though. Will I leave it here? You can't. Where are you going to put on her? Where's she going to sleep? We ain't got nowhere to live, Demi. I just wanted us all to be together. I'm sorry. What are we going to do now? I can't go back home. I didn't run if my dad it batter me. You saw him. I can't go back. Please don't go. I love you. There you are. I thought you'd done a runner. You all right? Why are you crying? I just want to go home. Right. What are you keeping in, Ma? Nothing. You know, a couple of days ago, we were so happy. Now, this, this, this feels really heavy. I mean, what is it it's about last night? No, it's about a lot of things. It's about, um, you know, I'm a, I'm a normal woman, and it's difficult to deal with... What? what? What, Billy? Yes, Billy. And Freddie, and you, and me, and the family, and Kat. No, there's, there's something else. What is it, Mum? Oh, God. Mum, please, whatever it is, just, just tell me. I can't sleep with you, all right? I know... I know things moved on, you know, the other night, but... we're still in the same boat. I'm sorry. No. All I care is about me and you being together, that's all. Really? Yeah, really. I mean, you're doing brilliantly, and I don't want you to put pressure on yourself, OK? Because I am really cool about it. OK? It's a bit like being in a pressure cooker, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I mean? We should do that. It's just go out and tell everyone that me and you together. What? What all this skulking around? Oh, I'm not ashamed of it, are you? No. No, it's, it's not like we've got some big guilty secret. No. You know, I... I care about you so much. You know, and I just want to tell the whole world. And if they've got a problem with it, then stuff them. <laughs> that sounds really good. <laughs> right, so, um... When should we tell them, then? Today? We should leave it for a week, you know, let everything settle down first. Why? I want to take you to the pub, kiss you and the bar in front of everyone. Oh, what did everybody <laughs> say? I think they'd say, well done, good on ya. Mark, they'll be happy. Come on, we've talked to Billy. Kane around. I mean, who have we got to hide from? Who's that? It's Dad, probably. Well, that's Andy, cos I can talk to him man to man. Yeah, cool.
Massive. We'll never get through it. Thought we could invite everyone round tonight, just like the old days. <laughs> Zoe, little Mo. Chamberlain and Ning can't come over. Yeah, well, never mind. Would have been great whether everyone together. The whole family, yeah? Uh, what are you doing, Mo? We've already got loads down. This is for the chicken, just in case it tries to escape. Ha, uh, ha. Uh. What was that? Zoe! Stacy! Someone must have gone out. Yeah, well, if they'd ever said goodbye, it must have been Stacy. I'm just popping out, Charlie. Where are you going? All right, Mo, we're back. Glad that you're the only ones. My arms are well hurting. Well, we're nearly there now. Well, why them yelping? She's got a leash up. <sighs> well, it is easier when you've got wheels. I'll just leave it, Darren, will ya? Right, you two get cracking on the house. We'll catch you up, all right? All right. You all right, Jim? Charlie. Charlie, mate, you got a minute? I'd like to have a word with you both. Yeah, of course, sir. What's on your mind? Well, I just want to apologise about this rat situation. Oh, forget it, son. It can't be helped. No, it's not right. I mean, good friends, they're important. We really appreciate all of you, and we'd like you to appreciate us. What about that, Jim? My brother-in-law, Clint, he can get into the council lockup. So I've stocked up on some traps and some poison, and I'd like to get each of your homes the once over. I mean, if, if you don't mind. Yeah, but uh, the council have already laid traps. Well, well, most of them are gone. Well, better safe than sorry. I mean, if you two want to get off for an hour, I mean, we'll let you know when we're done, eh? Yeah, yeah that's very kind of you, yeah. Thanks. What's going on? Uh, it's Keith. He's giving our place another sweep for vermin. Like. What for? Because he's a gentleman and a scholar, isn't he? Yeah. Come on, let's go and have a nice sherry, come on. What do you mean she's gone? Fighting? I don't believe it. Go on, mate. You ain't seen anyone in there you shouldn't have. Hey? Well, I saw Ian. Shouldn't I have? Zoe? You seen any old faces today? Old faces? Like who? Doesn't matter. Yeah, what are you doing? Flogging Kate's wardrobe or something? Chance to be a fine thing. Some chav's nicked my float and done a runner. Sorry, love, I ain't really had to afford these today. Oh, mate. Get ready for the dry run, then. Yeah, you sure about this? I mean, you know, there's going to be loads of people in tonight. Yeah, the more the better. Oh, you're not getting cold feet, are you? No. I'll go home, get the glad rags on and what of it. That's my girl. <laughs> you must go and tell that Keith the truth and apologise to him for being such a mean old man. How could you let him think that he brought the rats into the square? Well, we don't know for a fact it wasn't. Yeah, but the council bloke said the nest was in your garden. Oh, yes, the nest, all right. Yes, well, they might live at ours, but it don't mean they work there, does it? They might commute. You was quite high up in my good books earlier on, Jim Browning, but now I think you might have to go on rat duty again tonight. Oh, no! Well, if you don't want to, you know what you've got to do. It's not important, Gary. I'll see you later. Sorry, we, we ain't quite finished yet. Actually, we're having trouble laying anything. All the avenues seem to be covered. Yes, well, Jim can explain that. Can't you, Jim? Yeah, yeah well, it's something I meant to tell you, like, you know, that, uh, the rats... They're not coming from your gaff after all. They're coming from here. It's all that grief we got about all this. It was nothing more than unfounded prejudice. Uh, yeah, but I wasn't personally involved in all the comments like that. You gave us dirty looks. It's all right, Darren. They weren't to know. 